This unit is Query Event Log Files. It is the second unit on event monitoring, part of the Admin Advanced Trail, uh, which is part of the um, Trail Mix to become a Salesforce Admin, which I'm trying to slog my way through here. My name is Jeff Ohada. If you're welcome to join me as I work through this, if I come across something that seems relevant to you, I'll link to it in the description. If you're feeling bored and would like to fall asleep, please feel free to listen along. Okay, after completing this unit, you'll be able to ensure that you have the correct permissions to use event monitoring, log in to and navigate to several tools in Workbench. Okay, <clears throat> my brain just went off to like a tangent, like the skeuomorphic, I mean, skew, it's just the metaphoric things and the, does that work? Does it not work? I, my brain always goes down that rabbit hole every time it has a chance to jump down there. Query an event log file. No clue what that is. Object. Oh, it's a type of an object. You know, like a pick, a pen. Using the SOQL query editor and REST Explorer. That's an explorer that I got tired at the end of the day. Compare and contrast SOAP and REST APIs for querying event log files. Well, so what did you think? Well, I think it was a fantastic event. A little too much drama. Oh, SOAP, be quiet. I was bored. Well, you're REST. Okay. Describe the data type used to store the underlying log data. Query event log files in work Workbench. Do it now. Let's consider one of the examples from, let's consider one of the example cases from earlier. A sales representative named Rob Berg, Bergley. Cute. He's a burglar, right? He left your company a few weeks ago and joined a major competitor. All of a sudden you start losing deals to this other company. You suspect that Mr. Burglar, Bergley, downloaded a report containing confidential lead information shared with his new employer. Normally, you wouldn't be able to confirm your suspicions, but with event monitoring, you can gather all the evidence you need to set the story straight. Let's look at how this process works. Before we get started, double check that you have the correct permissions to query event log files. Event monitoring requires API, API enabled and view event log file permissions. Note, Shield Event Monitoring is available for free in Developer Edition Orgs. All other editions require you to purchase a license. Now we're ready to go. I don't know that I'm ready to go. In my Trailhead Playground, do I have said permissions? I don't know, I'm a system admin. Does that give me that permission? Where, where, where do I even check? <clears throat> oh, it's so easy to find. Well, we could just do it the other way. Okay, log into your Trello DE organization, now we get to Workbench. Yeah, sounds good. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, it's making sure that it's not using my work one. I won't have access there. Select an action to perform. Jump to. <clears throat> Okay, for event, for environment, select production. For API versions, select <clears throat> the highest number available. Make sure you check, I agree with terms of service, check log with service folders. Okay, I guess I did all that. <clears throat> You've arrived at the Workbench homepage. 
we don't cover all the tools, features, all the tools, features in this module, but we'll go through the pieces that are useful for event monitoring. Let's start by using the SOQL edit query editor to make sure that you have some data to work with. Better. On the top menu, select queries, SOQL query, queries. SOQL, SOQL, is that pronounced? Is there a way to pronounce that acronym? Or do we just have to suffer with it? Salesforce object query language. Use this, so cool. First, choose an object to use. Okay. Select queries. Okay. Query data queries is a Q killers. Okay, fine. I did that. And then under object, choose event log files. Mysteriously, this was not put on a separate line. Under object, choose event log files. A, B, C, D, E. I could do this. I could do this. <sighs> Under fields, select count. See, that should be a separate line. Notice that the editor populates with some query text. That's good. There it is. Click query. Why do I have to use query? Query would return zero results. So exciting. Okay, well, hey. Maybe folks, you just don't have the permission to do what you think you did, or maybe you can't do this, or maybe I don't. We're gonna move on. The count function returns how many event log files records exist in your organization. If the response tells you query would return zero, or, ah, records, thanks. It means you don't have any stored record events. Remember, it takes 24 hours for events to surface, and the log files are only stored for 24 hours in D developer edition organizations. If you don't get results back, you can retry tomorrow. Okay, we'll have to start logging them first, which I'm not doing, but I'm the only one using it. So what exactly does the event log file object store? To find out, we can do what's called an object describe. In the top menu, select info, standard and custom objects. Select event log file from the drop down menu. Yeah, that's already selected. Expand attributes menu to view the object's properties. Event log file is queryable. Say that word 10 times fast. Queryable 10 times fast, which means that you can request information about the object from the database. Please, just once, or again, and again, and again. It is also retrievable, so you can find an event log file record by its ID. So it's queryable and retrievable. That hurts my brain. Expand the fields menu. There are 17 fields, but let's pay particular attention to two of them. Event type and login file. Log file. Event type. Boring, soapy, drama. This field displays which event types a record represents. If you type event type, pick list values, you can see the different types of events. In our case, we're interested in records with an event type of report export. Log file, this field is where actual information you're looking for is stored. The contents of a log file 
are usually held in the forest, depend on the event type. For report export, this field stores everything from the ID of the user that exported the report to the browser and operating system that they use to do it. We're getting closer to finding our culprit. Let's keep collecting evidence by using another tool of the workbench, the rest explorer. Rest and exploring just don't go together. View events in the REST Explorer. Oh, let's find a couch. The REST Explorer gives you access to Salesforce REST API, a web service that lets you retrieve data from your organization. To get more information about your organization's report, export events in Workbench, in the top menu, select Utilities, REST Explorer. Utilities, REST Explorer, okay. Replace the existing text with that. Oh, I almost left something out. Shame. Forward slash services, forward slash data, VAPI. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, query, so select ID event type log date, log file, length, log file from event log file where event tile equals report export. Where API version is the API version using such as 46. Oh, so I have to replace that. Click execute. Really? I don't want to kill anything. Wow. That's great. Got nothing back. If no reports have been exported in your organization, that's so far as the total field has a value of zero. Okay, not the best example. Remember that it takes 24 hours for events to be available. You can export a report from your organization and try again tomorrow. Alternatively, you can replace replace export with a different type of in your REST query, for example, a login. If you have some report events, you can, your execution. Never write your execution. Return something like this. Okay. Expand one of the records and click log file link. The contents look something like this. That's helpful. Yikes, how are we supposed to learn anything from this? Don't worry, we're not done yet. Compare query methods for event monitoring. You've used a couple of tools in Workbench for, I have no idea what I've done though. First, use the SOQL query editor to determine whether you had any events stored in your organization. You also performed an object Describe to learn about the event log object. Finally, you use the REST Explorer to view your event log file records. All these tools retrieve information from your organization. So what's the difference between them? The answer isn't too surprising. The difference is the underlying API. Oh, right. Should have guessed. The SQ query editor and the object describe what's called a SOAP API. It's a little different than a REST API that you've been used, that you used in the REST Explorer. When I was looking for the couch. One difference is that writing a query in the SOQL, so cool query editor, is more straightforward than writing one of the REST Explorer. Let's say we wanted to retrieve one of our log files for the fire. In SOAP, it looks like, in REST, it looks like, so cool. It query is easier to understand and remember. So why do we decide to use the rest instead? Look at what happens when we execute these queries and view one of our log files. In SOAP, the query returns something like this. Oh. And the rest returns something like this. Here we see the major difference between SOAP and REST when it comes to querying event log files. 
return log files are the same, but they present a different formats. When you return event log files using SOAP, the serial result is serialized. Cheerios. Cornflakes. I know it's spelled differently, but it sounds the same. We're going to rice puff you right now. Base 64 string. Well, okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. If your organization plans on using tools like MuleSoft, hey, guess what? Salesforce owns that now. This needs to be updated. Or Informatica. Is that the competition? Yeah, we should update this. To work with event log files, you want to use SOAP to retrieve your REST data. REST on the end deserializes. We're going to make that right back into a grain of rice. <laughs> you rice puff. <laughs> the log file. It's not pretty, but as you see in the upcoming section, other tools can perform REST results into an easy rated format. And here I here I stop. I'm just gonna say I'm pretty happy with fifty points on this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you got a good night's rest.